match society now we are back with another video and the objective of today's video is about how to find the inverse of 2 by 2 matrices and secondly how to confirm the inverse and we will discuss about the second objective in the last of the video so before going to start our video if you don't subscribe to our channel then go and subscribe and also click the bell icon for more videos so if we have a matrix a of order 2 by 2 matrix then we have to calculate the A inverse a formula to calculate the inverse of a such a matrix is that 1 divided by the determinant of the matrix multiply adjoint of matrix A so basically this is the formula to calculate the inverse so as to finding the inverse first of all we have to calculate the determinant of any matrix and we know that the determinant of any matrix is possible if it is a square matrix and we already discussed about the determinant how to take a determinant and what are the conditions when we take a determinant on a matrix in a previous video so I drop the link in the description box as well again discuss about it determinant says multiply the diagonal elements which is a b minus b c a is a matrix that if a mat if the determinant of a is equals to 0 then the matrix a is a singular matrix and the determinant of a is not equals to 0 then we can say that this matrix is non singular that the inverse of the matrix is possible only if the matrix is non singular means the determinant of this matrix is not equals to 0 the condition is necessary that the matrix must be non singular then we are able to find the inverse of the matrix and third and the last point is that to find the adjoint adjoint of a matrix a as it is denoted in this Form. we have to calculate if we have a matrix B then it says that the adjoint of the matrix is obtained by interchanging the diagonal elements and changing the signs of the other for example if we have a matrix A and we have to calculate the adjoint of A so just interchanging the diagonal elements as B and here is A and changing the signs of other elements which is minus C and minus B so after these three points it is very easy to take the inverse of the matrix so just move on to the examples so here is the first example it is a 2 by 2 matrix and we have to calculate the inverse of this matrix and we know that the formula how to calculate the inverse first of all we have to calculate the determinant of this given matrix there is minus. So the parallel straight lines indicates the determinant which is equals to minus 6 plus 1 which is equals to minus 5 and the second step to check out that this is not equals to 0 then this means the matrix A is non singular. Now to calculate the adjoint of this matrix it says that just to interchange the entries of the diagonal elements so it is minus 3 and 2 and changing the signs of the other elements it will be minus 1 and it will be 1 and now put the values in the first equation that is say that so the a inverse which is equals to the determinant of a which is this form and the adjoint is this matrix minus 3 minus 1 1 and 2 for the sake of simplification we just multiply this whole factor inside the matrix just as a scalar multiplication of the matrix it will be 3 over 5 it will be positive 1 over 5 it will be minus 1 over 5 and it will be minus 2 over 5 so it is a inverse of the given matrix which is this the first step is just to determine the determinant which is minus 2, 6, 3 and minus 9 and according to the formula of the determinant procedure it will be 18 the sign is minus and it will be 18 which is equals to 0 as the determinant of this matrix is 0 
so it is a singular matrix so b is singular matrix so the inverse of b is not possible as we already discussed in the starting as in the important points that, that the inverse of the matrix is possible only if the matrix is non singular matrix so it is a singular then the inverse is not possible we have to calculate the inverse of this matrix so first of all calculate the determinant of this matrix which is 1 and 2 and it says that multiply the diagonal elements so it will be 1 minus 3 over 4 which is equals to 4 minus 3 over 4 which is equals to 1 over 8 it does not equals to 0 then it means that the matrix c is non singular matrix and the inverse is possible have to calculate the adjoint of the this matrix so it will be 2 and 1 over 2 and changing the signs of other entries so it will be minus 3 over 4 and it will be minus 1 c inverse which is equals to 1 divided by determinant of c multiply adjoint of c so 1 divided by 1 by 4 and the matrix is 2 minus 3 over 4 minus 1 and 1 over 2 it will be 4 and the matrix will remain same now we have to multiply this matrix as a, as a scalar multiplication of the matrix so it will be 8 it will be minus 3 it will be minus 4 2 so this is our final inverse of a given matrix now it's time to answer this question the second objective of this video if we have a number 8 and we multiply this number with 1 over 8 then the answer will be 1 the inverse of the 8 is 1 over 8 so the inverse of the matrix is the same idea but write in a different way as in a reciprocal way and we write inverse as a inverse can't write it as 1 over a because of why we do not divide by a matrix if we multiply the matrix a with its inverse then we back it the identity matrix and the identity matrix is such a matrix that the one is in diagonal and all other elements are zero so it is a identity element of order 2 by 2 which is 2 by so as we find the inverse of this matrix in a first example so check it out that it is the inverse or not a multiply a inverse multiply the row with this column so it will be 6 over 5 minus 1 over 5 and fix this row and multiply with this column it will be 2 over 5 minus 2 over 5 then the second row multiply with the first column so it will be minus 3 over 5 plus 3 over 5 and finally fix this row and multiply the second column it will be minus 1 over 5 plus 6 over 5 5 over 5 it will be 0 it will be 0 and it will be again 5 over 5 which is equals to 1 0 0 1 and it will be a identity matrix of order 2 by 